I'm coming at you with the tea or leveling up. Period. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shay. Thanks so much for coming back for another video. If you guys are new, always and always, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Here on my channel, we do videos on lifestyle, beauty, and nursing. Today, as you guys can obviously see in the title and by my lovely gesture on my sweatshirt, we're going to be doing a nursing video. And I do want to quickly shout out my girl, the Nurse Sam, on Instagram for having these sweatshirts in her shop. Um, if you're an LPN, she has those ones available. Of course, mine is for registered nurse. Go check her out. She is a great platform on Instagram. But... Getting into today's video, guys, we're going to slide right into the tea because I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the transition from tech or CNA to nurse. And with the talking points I have, I also want to kind of give you guys a little bit of information on my experience. I see these videos hanging out all the time on YouTube, but I always see the typical pros and why it'll help you. And why I do want to tell you guys why it will help you. As you can see in the title, there's a good, a bad, and an ugly. So I do want to tell you guys what will be cons and what will also be a challenge in transitioning. So fear not, we're going to jump right into the video. Okay guys, so if you see me look down, I'm using my phone for some talking points so I don't keep you guys here for 10 million years for a conversation that only takes 10. Okay guys, so let's cut straight into the pros first. I'm going to talk about the pros first only because I feel like the pros help us introduce the cons. And even though, like I said in the beginning intro, I feel like all the videos here talk about the pros, I think that will also kind of lead us. It'll kind of be a good transition area. So the first thing I put down is the experience helps you with your journey and act as a nurse. And I can definitely hold true to this. Even from my own experience, if I didn't explain this to you guys already in previous videos, I became a patient care associate or a PCT when I was in my sophomore year of nursing school, getting ready to go into my junior year. That was in 2015. I had that role per diem for two years while I was a pharmacy tech, and I became a nurse in 2017 and transitioned on. So having those two years of experience on my back really helped me um, with learning like equipment, simple things as putting a patient on a bedpan. I oriented somebody a couple months ago that really didn't know how to put a patient on a bedpan. Um, it's not anything to be embarrassed about. It's not anything to be like, oh my gosh, she didn't know how to do this. It's just, you know, she didn't learn it and that's what it is. But things like that save me time. So I feel like when I entered nursing orientation, I spent a lot of my time learning the nursing aspect instead of learning both the caring aspect and the nursing aspect if that makes sense so you kind of give yourself a better focus when you get into nursing orientation but it's a humbling focus always remember guys if you're a tech before you're a nurse they are not the same position you can't walk up in there acting like you know everything because you don't this is a new role you might have watched nurses for years and years and years but unless you are trained and your mind gets to critically thinking like a lpn or a registered nurse then you will not succeed. So that's one thing I always encourage people, regardless of you getting this tech job or not, you can't walk in there and when you become a nurse and be like, oh, I know everything, I was a tech. Yeah, you got a little upper hand on some things, but like I said, there's a bad and an ugly, and we'll talk about that soon. So some other talking points I kind of just put down here is you become comfortable around the patient population. So um, you have direct patient interaction as a nurse as well as a tech. I think that's something that helped me too. You guys know I'm very shy in front of people. Still don't understand how I'm up here on YouTube. That's neither here nor there. But I'm very shy. I don't communicate right away. It takes a little bit. But when I get to the bedside, y'all, I'm a totally, I'm still myself, but there's a confidence that shines. And I think that confidence came from also being a tech first. Because I'm telling y'all, when I first became a tech, it was like shaking in my boots, communicating with people. And now I can walk into a room and make a connection with my patient in two seconds. And I really think that has to do with the fact that I kind of already got that personable, comfortable experience being a tech before. Um, I put on here, you learn how to do tasks that you would have to been taught on orientation. So like I told you guys before, equipment, knowing where the oxygen is, bedpan, um, putting on different garments, things like that. Learning that as a tech helped smooth it over as me being a nurse. So we're going to go ahead and transition now into the cons. 
And I'm going to be straight up and forward with you guys based on my own experience. The transition, in my opinion, is a little tough. And here's why. The first thing I talk about, and you guys are going to hear this millions and millions of time in nursing school, is delegation. And delegation is hard because you now, when you become a nurse, you almost know how to do everything at the bedside. Not only do you know how to do the tech duties, but you also now know how to do the nursing duties. So while we promote cluster care and get in and do stuff while you're in there so you don't have to keep coming in, if you're not delegating your tasks properly, you are going to find yourself very overwhelmed. You're going to be in patients' rooms forever. And you're not going to be able to do your time management well. And that's where I still, even to this day, sometimes I struggle with time management because I feel like if somebody is asking me to do something and I'm already in the room, why would I go ask somebody else to do it if I'm already there? But here's where it gets to the point where you're like, okay, you have to delegate. Somebody, when I was on orientation, always taught me, there are things you can ask other people to do that they can do for you as a tech. And as a nurse, there's things that only you can do. Instances, if somebody needs a stat med, I might have to leave my patient that has to use the bathroom, ask somebody else to help them use the bathroom while I go give the stat med. Do I want to do it? No. Can I just help the person while I'm already in the room? Yes. Who else am I going to ask to go give that stat med for me, though? You do have colleagues on the floor that will help you out and everything like that. But in general... When it comes to delegation, it is a line. You have to establish a boundary. And when you're transitioning, it's hard to establish that boundary because you don't want to feel like how you felt when you were a tech or a CNA. How you guys feel like everybody's just coming to you with everything piled on the task. I will be honest, as a nurse, it's not easier than being a tech, but techs have a lot of work to do and they also have a higher patient load. I do have a lot of work to do as well. There's things that I can do that techs can't do, but I think the way the work adds up is pretty equal, and it's nothing to just say, oh, the tech can just do it, or oh, the nurse can just do it. There, We both have responsibilities that are very demanding. So that's the first thing I will tell you guys straight up, straight forward. My transition was hard. I struggled so much trying to make sure that I was delegating the task I was supposed to, and I was taking on the tasks that were appropriate for me. Okay guys, so speaking on delegation, this comes into my second point. A lot of people feel like when they are CNAs or techs, they will go on to become nurses in the same unit or same place because they're already comfortable with the people and they're already comfortable with the environment. While I think this is a great thing, I too, especially if you're like in a hospital or something, would always recommend that you just start off on a new unit. Yes, you're already comfortable. Yes, you already established relationships and boundaries and things with these people. But as your title just came on up a little higher, there is going to be some discrepancy. So the people who used to ask you to do stuff now have you, I don't want to say on the same level because nobody's below anybody, but basically that's where it is. So people who were used, like a nurse that was used to you being a tech has to be like, okay, now they're a nurse. And then this is the other tricky part. Your colleagues who were texts with you and we worked together and we did everything, not saying that you won't still work together and do things, but now they have to, saying this in the most humble way, because it's, it's not a level, it's not a, like, who's better than who, who's higher than who, but in reality, they now have to answer to you. They are an assistant. They're a patient care associate or a certified nurse's assistant. They're a nurse's assistant. So you will now be delegating task or asking them to do tasks that you're unable to accomplish because you have other tasks to do and that's where it gets a little iffy um being in my institution it was a little bit easier for me because i was not only prn but i was also what they call pool so as a tech i would get floated to every unit no matter what and basically when i started on my unit where i'm at right now while there's some people that do remember me as a tech I didn't have a close-knit bond with them because I was PRN and pool to where it became awkward for me to kind of delegate tasks. Now, don't get me wrong. I still would be like, oh, I got to ask you something. Don't hate me. Like, that's like my common thing because I just feel like we all have so much to do. But it was a little bit easier for me because I wasn't like a tech with these other people. Now, there's still sometimes we get texts on our floor and I'm like, oh, my gosh, we used to be text together and now I got to ask you to do something for me. But it's all about the approach too. 
um, when you're delegating, it's not like that you're higher than anybody. It is not I'm telling you what to do. It's like, hey, let's work as a team. Can you do this for me? We'll get this done and we'll get that done. And that's the simplest to it. So those are the only two things I could come up for the bad and the ugly. But I will tell you guys, the delegation is tough. Um, for me specifically, like I said, because I'm just a person where I feel like if I'm already in a room and I can get it done, let me just get it done. But I quickly learned, like, okay, if patient in other room is having chest pain and you're trying to help Miss Jones go to the bathroom, like, you gonna have to pick and choose which one you gotta do. Time management. So overall, guys, we've reached the end of the video and you are still hearing the good, the bad, and the ugly and you're asking me, Shay, I got a position or I have an offer, should I become a tech? Should I become a CNA before I become a nurse? And my answer is yes. I think it's still a good opportunity because of the experience. The experience will gain you knowledge that will save you time as a nurse. Additionally, I also tell people sometimes you become a tech or you become a certified nurse's aide and you find out you don't wanna be a nurse. And look at you, saving time, saving money, and saving interest in something that you see that you do not want to do. So overall, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching my channel and for watching this video today. If any of you guys have also made the transition from CNA or tech to registered nurse and have any other advice for all my nursing students and my CNAs and my techs out here, please leave that in the comment box below, your recommendations, your comments, your advice. Um, I will be coming with more nursing videos soon, guys, so don't forget to hit subscribe if you're interested in more. Don't forget to like and also comment down below. You guys know I love the interaction, and I will see you in my next video.